Hello everybody, my name is Nemo and welcome back to the Win or Swap series. Um, last time we played Exalted Darkness, we got three wins and then a loss. And uh, we then spun upon Subal Crawl Strength, which I'm not going to play. <laughs> Why not, would you ask? Because I'm currently um, testing a different build for the deck. So I want to be sure that I'm playing the best build imaginable possible. And uh, all that. So if I, if the current build I'm testing right now turns out to be better than the build I had at first. Then I will want to be playing that build. And uh, vice versa. Um, so I have no idea. You know, I want to I wanna make sure I'm playing the best build. Um, so since I'm currently testing the deck. I'm uh, going to try to see what uh, other deck I can be playing for the win or swap series. Um, now, aside from Sepulchral Strength, there's a few other decks I'm currently doing some tests on and most of this is because of the tier list videos um, I re made recently uh, currently I think my tier list is the most complete tier list out there um, so you know I, I think it, I did a good job on it but it can always be better and um, there's a few decks certainly that the results I've gotten with them at least um, aren't as high as some of the community have gotten with the with the decks. So um, I made a forum thread about my tier list as well, and uh, I've gotten quite quite a bit of feedback. And I've been trying different builds for a few decks. Um, so these decks are Green Procession, um, Sepulchral Strength, uh, Mindstorms, which cur which is actually I haven't gotten that much feedback about Mindstorms, but. I, I just thought of something different to try with the deck that may be better, may not be better. Um, also, Born of Flame and Sky and Scale. Uh, most people are playing the Sky and Scale deck more aggressively than I am. And saying they have better results with it, so I'm testing that. And uh, the same goes with Born of Flame. Not that much as... Like, I, I'm not running a very different deck build for Born of Flame, but I have changed some cards and the results are much better. At least for now, so we'll see. Um, and I'll see what I'll do about, you know, the tier list and all that, if I need to redo, um, if these decks turn out to be better, um, I don't know, but either way, for now it means that we're going to, uh, be playing different deck in the Winner Swap series, other than Sepulchral Strength. Currently we're going to spin and, uh, see if we can find a different deck I haven't already played in the Winner Swap series. Okay, well that's, uh, one of the decks I'm currently testing, so... Peacekeepers, um, have I already played this for the Winner Swap series? I don't think I have, and it's definitely a good deck. So let's uh, let's go ahead and play some Peacekeepers. I'll see you in a game. Welcome back. We're in a game. Great hand keeping, keeping only one early creature, but uh, I have a good feeling about this hand. I've got three lands. I'm I'm great. All right, so. And if I only draw lands, I'm not even I'm not even upset because I have this Captain of the Watch here, so it's my safeguard for getting land flooded, I guess. Um, we're playing against. <laughs> or um, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Um, probably a lot of like Chinese characters that my computer does, doesn't recognize. That's probably the case. But uh, either way, he's playing a little over 60 cards. But uh, it's the winner swap series, so I don't need to worry about um, whether I'm going to be showing this match or not. I am gonna show it because that's the format. You know, that's that's how this works. I'm gonna show you each match, see how many wins I can get. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely not dropping Captain of the Watch. That's the f because he has stuff against that. I can get rid of Glorious Anthem and a land, and I still have four lands. That seems decent to me. Um, yes, that's what I'm doing. I know Glorious Anthem is great with Captain of the Watch though, but you know, then I have to drop so many lands that I'm not even guaranteed to be able to play Captain of the Watch ever, so... Uh, and I, I want at least one removal spell in hand, because you never know. Um, and this is a great removal spell against his... Uh, his flyer dudes, his flyer dudes, his 5-4 flyer dudes, the demigods of revenge. Um, which is the main 
thing I would want to worry about against this deck. Um, spell or ability. This would be an ability. Alright. Honor of the Pure. Um, I think I just deal with this dude. <laughs> I don't care about taking four here. Um, could be dangerous. Could not be dangerous. I mean, I'm taking two extra from it if he plays them. He got next turn. So that means I only took two damage, I guess. Um, what I'm trying to say is if he has a demigod next turn, right, then now he attacks me for 5 and takes me down to 8. Whereas if I didn't deal with his 4-1, um, he attacks me for 4 with that guy and 7 with the demigod of revenge, assuming he didn't block one of my creatures. So that would have been worse than taking the 4 here and then 5. So yeah. Of course, uh, if he does have Demigod, he's probably a little bit sad that he had to play Evolving Wilds first. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's actually, um... Hmm, interesting. He's gonna terminate this guy, I would imagine. Yep. Well, he did it after I attacked, which means I got the, I got the Battle Cry to go off. Um, I've got Lethal right now. He probably has an answer for this. But if he does, he has to play that instead of the Demigod, so that's something, you know. Unless, of course, he plays Grave Titan right now. That would probably suck. That thing doesn't have 4 power, so I can take care of it with Intrepid Hero. Okay, well, that's not a land. Sitting here with two of these against the discard deck with four lands out. That's not exactly the greatest situation. And especially if you... He's got a removal spell too, don't he? Oh, he's gonna use this to kill the other guy so I don't deal any damage. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Um, yeah. If you realize that I only run two six cost spells in my deck and I drew both of them, yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, that sucks for me. Carvac. Carvac, you merciless you. Um... But what? I can just kill it. What is it? What? Um, why am I doing this? Why am I playing this? I was so confused about him playing this when I have <laughs> Intrepid Hero out that I make stupid mistakes. Alright, well, actually, on the other hand, if he plays a demigod, like now I can react um, with this guy by killing this. Or, or, or killing the demigod, whichever I need to do. So, I guess it wasn't that bad of an idea. Alright. If he has demigod... Hmm. Well, whatever. I don't want this guy to be 2-2. But he can still play it now. That's the problem. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well... Hmm, he doesn't have any other cards in hand, so I should be I should be fine. I should be fine. Getting closer to those Captain of the Watches. Captains of the Watch. Um Of course I'm waiting until he attacks, because then he can't like top deck another demigod and get them both and kill me. <laughs> He should attack with both. No, he doesn't. I would have. Oh, actually. No, I'm gonna kill it. No, sorry. Because this guy now walls off my creatures. That, like, I could let him in and attack with both my dudes. And he has to chump block with this guy. But then if he has lightning, I die. Whereas, if I just draw land here, I should be fine otherwise. Alright, well that's that's good too. That's good. So that should be the end of this. Rather rather um nerve wracking for a first match with uh, with peacekeepers. But I won in the end and that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> Took one damage I didn't need to take, but on the other hand, um yeah, I, I actually think that was the be better thing to do, um, especially since he turned out to indeed have the Demigod of Revenge that turn. Um, of course, I didn't know he was going to play the 
the other dude, but, you know, the rock slide elemental, but, you know, that's how it goes. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. My name has been Nemo, my name will still be Nemo in the next match with Peacekeepers. Keeping the peace.